Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm Jen with Jen Whitmore Training and today we are doing a three-part series starting today on Reclaim Yourself Mom. So if you're not a mom, don't leave. If you are a mom, stay in. And if you are not a mom, maybe you have a mom or maybe you're married to the mom. So you might be able to take some insight back home with you after this video as far as the mom in your life goes and maybe give a little grace, give a little bit more help and maybe just maybe a little bit extra love. Um, so today we are talking about reclaiming yourself as a mom and when I was growing up I literally wanted nothing more than to be a mom. I had no lofty aspirations to being a doctor or a lawyer. I basically wanted to be a mom. I thought that was the greatest thing in the world. And so once I accomplished that, grew up and got married and became a mom, then I realized what all comes with actually being a mom. Um, and of course, most of them are all wonderful, wonderful, rewarding things. You know, you get pregnant and you get that little, you know, tickles in your belly and you get to watch them grow and then after they're born, it's like one of the most wonderful things that you have ever accomplished. You get to be there for all their milestones and they need you for so many things. And not only do they need you, but your family and your husband and your job and everything needs you as well. But being a mom you know, with little kids, we have our time and our bodies being pulled in every different direction. But being a mom is, mo is one of the most rewarding things I have ever um, done. And it is still a little bit trying. So today we are talking about how to reclaim yourself. Because you are a mom, you have so much demand on your time. and and we a lot of times forget ourselves. And so I think this would be a great opportunity to remember that we are our own individual person. And once those little monkeys grow up, then we're still gonna be here needing to take care of ourselves and take care of our relationships. And so as a mom, you know, I, I'm sure you know you all know, but we have cooking. And cleaning and it just never ends you know it starts at the beginning of the day you're waking them up you're brushing their teeth and you know if they're old enough to brush their own teeth you're waking them up and making them brush their teeth dressing them cooking their breakfast packing their lunches you know you're shipping them off to school and if you work then you're off to work and we're probably up earlier than the kids because you had to get yourself ready and then if you're a stay-at-home mom then you know your work isn't done when the kids go to school and you probably still have little kids at home with you to take care of as well. And it's their lunch and their nap time and maybe you're still nursing them. But there's always the laundry that never ends. You've already ran the dishwasher two times today and there's still dishes in the sink from last night. Um, you know, you're mopping and sweeping and then you're going to doctor appointments and teacher conferences. And once they get home from school, then you're the homework helper. You're um, helping them get dressed for the practices and the games. And then you're the shoulder to cry on when things don't go well. So the mom's job is never done. And a lot of days, your husband comes home and you might look the same way that you did when he left. Or you're in yoga pants and a stained shirt because you spilled something on yourself. Your hair's up in a messy bun and you haven't showered. Lord knows if you've even brushed your teeth. You know, sometimes we get really wrapped up in it and we honestly forget that we have to remember to take care of ourselves because if we're not taking care of ourselves and we burn out, then what's left? What are we going to do? And we also have to remember that we have a relationship and a responsibility to our spouse and ourselves that once those little kids are gone, you know, we're, we're still here and we have to nurture that and we can't just let it go and wait until it's over and then try to fix it because a lot of times that doesn't happen and things don't go like that. So we as moms, you know, we have a whole lot of responsibilities and we are being pulled and tugged in every which way, directions, 
but this is going to be our opportunity in this uh, three-part series to figure out how we can start remembering ourselves and obviously we're short on time so we're gonna figure out little bitty increments of time and little bitty things that we can do to reclaim ourselves as women and we're going to ignore all of the outside pressure you know you're too fat you're too skinny you're too tall you're too short you demand feed you schedule feed you do this you do that it doesn't matter all of those outside pressures those things are out there we are going to forget all of those things for this week and we are going to talk about how to reclaim ourselves as moms and women and as individuals who have a purpose outside of just raising children even though those little monkeys come with wonderful, wonderful uh, things, rewards, and fulfillment in life. This is just a short time that's passing by, and we're going to enjoy every minute, of it, every minute of it that we can. But after it's over, we are going to remember who we are and also whose we are. So I will see you girls tomorrow and guys if you're on here. And we are going to talk about those little things that we can do to start to reclaim ourself tomorrow at 5 p.m. Again, I will be here at 5 p.m. And I will see you then. And in the meantime, start thinking about it. Start thinking about things that you might be able to do to reclaim yourself a little bit. Because I know you put yourself last. I know that you don't take care of yourself. I know that you are barely putting your makeup on. You're barely getting your teeth brushed. And if you are a working mom, you've got all that stuff covered, but you're, again, tired at the end of the day, and you're not taking care of yourself. So what are we going to do, ladies, to take care of ourselves so that we can be the best mom for our kids and the best wife for our husbands? All right, y'all. I will see you tomorrow.